Um, okay, you're probably wondering why I don't use the DST technique, right? Yeah. Now, it's not a bad technique at all, mm -hmm. but I feel that it has some inherent limitations that can result in sometimes um, less than optimal results. Sometimes the DST technique can result in a crease that is a little bit short. So in other words, over the region of the inner corner of the eye, there's not enough of a crease. It's as if the crease ended or it started, didn't start close enough to the inner corner. And then as far as the outer corner, sometimes it can end up that the crease ends a little bit before you get to the outer corner, you see. So the way that um, I have developed my own technique to, that in my opinion, overcomes this possible limitation of the DST technique is that I place sutures that span the entire length of the upper eyelid from the inner corner to the outer corner. And because of that, I feel safer in the sense that I can be more confident that I'm going to end up with a double eyelid crease that spans the entire length of the eyelid, you see. And I mean, over many years of refining this technique, I have found that it works because, to be honest, I don't think we've ever had a problem of a crease that wasn't long enough, you know.